Hey, what's up guys? This is Gast, and I am showing you a new command block system that I've made to create torches that, when held, give you some light. If you see, if I change off of the torch, then there is no light. If I change on, then I get some light. Now, how this is done is pretty obviously noticeable. I'm putting redstone torches all around me and removing them when I go too far. So, let's get to the commands. Start things off, I have a redstone clock here. Let me go ahead and use some night vision. Using a fill clock, which is just allowing there to be a giant line here of redstone. And that's powering all of these. This this command block right here is executing at anyone with a torch score of 1, which I will get to later, to fill the block that is in their space, and just that block, with a redstone torch replacing air. So. Right here, the second half of me where the legs are. And these five blocks, whoops, or yeah, these six blocks actually, I'm sorry. And these six blocks are all filling various coordinates around me in a pattern like this that remove redstone torches and replace them with air. I'll put all those in the description. And then these two up here are using a scoreboard system called Kill Torch. And it's setting any kind of item that is that has an ID of Redstone Torch to 1. And then this command here is killing any entity that is an item and has a score Kill Torch minimum of 1 and maximum of 1. The reason you have to do this is because you can't just do kill an entity type as item and then specify the item. You can only do that with giving them a scoreboard. And then, speaking of these, all these um, scoreboards here, I have the problem. Well, one problem with this is that each test it uses test four, so you have to make this player specific. So you have to make a new test for oops. You have to make a new test for set for every player joining. So it's not recommended for any kind of large servers at all, just maybe single player or with a few friends. And how this works is it's testing for a torch in the selected item slot on your hotbar. So right now I'm holding this stone block. And if I go to this torch, then you can see my torch score right over here went to 1, and if I scroll off, it goes to 0. What's going on is when it is detecting that, it powers this command block, which sets my score of torch to 1, and that activates all those fill commands that were oh, over in the other room. And then when it's set to zero, I did see the redstone torch that I'll fix that later. Then it executes more fill commands around me. And these two are just the same one, except one's for lit redstone torches, the other one is for unlit, because they are two different types of blocks. And this is setting my torch score to zero, so those other fill commands that are powering the torch system will not work. Let me really quickly here just fix this. So as soon as I'm on the torch, it works. And as soon as I'm off, it detects that I'm off, clears all of them in my immediate area. And any one of them that is out too far for those two fill blocks I just showed to clear, you should be clearing as you're walking away from them. I didn't want to use torches for the set blocks and fills because 
if you did, then you'd have to kill all entities that are torches, including ones that you would want to pass off to a friend, maybe. And this does work in any slot, which I really like. Just as a side note there. And really, like, torches, I feel, would be a little bit too bright to have. That's more of just a personal opinion. If you would rather have it with actual torches in these redstone ones, feel free to take the commands and change them up. Just give me credit if you happen to do, like, a YouTube video of any kind like that. So, that's pretty much it, then. I would like to thank NVTCraft for his video on how to kill specific item entities, so I'm not killing this stained glass or this grass block or that milk when I throw them. Only, you know, the redstone torch. And I also want to thank Dragnos for his tutorial on test four commands. And our lights just went out, good thing I have my torch. So, yes, Dragnaz's tutorial on using test four commands in Minecraft 1.8, that is another thing I should talk about. It, this is only going to work in Minecraft 1.8 because there we have fill and execute, which are both necessary here. And I saw in some other video how to test for any item, like a certain item in any slot, not just a specific slot. I can't remember who did that, and I'm very sorry that I can't give you credit. It wasn't like a whole video about that, it was like a side note. And then I kind of just went really quickly and was like, oh, I can use this for my torches. And, oh yeah, one other thing to mention. This does not work in water. Or around plants. And the reason because the reason of that is because it's filling an air block and only an air block with these redstone torches, just so you don't destroy anything important to you. And it also won't light on redstone blocks because they power the redstone torches and turn them off. That's why we have the extra six command blocks that I showed closer to the beginning of the video to destroy these anyways. So it's not just lit torches. All right, well. Thank you for watching, and leave a like, comment in if you enjoyed, and feel free to comment on other ideas I should work on. I really like doing stuff with command blocks, and I would love to try new things. Thanks, bye! Hey guys, it's Gast again. One last thing I forgot to mention is that you want to keep this redstone torch stuff away from redstone contraptions. I forgot to mention that in the main part of the video, but... Some of you might have noticed with the test four command that the redstone torch disappeared when I was using I had to replace it. And it will activate redstone contraptions on its own and can remove redstone torches that are too close to you. This doesn't happen if you know you're not holding the torch. So just stay away from it while you're holding it. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.